Hi guys and welcome back to Mike's Carpet Adventures. So today uh, we'll be kicking off a new playlist on the channel, which is going to be looking at kind of uh, product reviews, uh, whether things are worth buying or not, pros and cons, etc. Um, so uh, thank you everyone who's been supporting the channel um, this year. I do appreciate it, and uh, you know please do feel free to check out the rest of the videos, uh, like, subscribe, etc. Much appreciated. Um, but today we're going to be kicking off with um, something that I personally use for the last two and a bit years. Um, so this is a, a new take on the on the Bivy Light, if you like. Um, they've been around for a number of years now, but um, it's something called the Hero Beam. So uh, Hero Beam, as I said, I've had it for a couple of years. January the 13th, uh, 2018, apparently, I, I purchased this. Um, for me, I know there's a number of different Bivy Lights out there, but when I first started looking, um, this was the particular option that I went for, and I'm so glad I did. Value has been fantastic in my opinion, but I'll run through the pros and cons of this particular item. Uh, we'll do a summary at the end. I'll show you an example of exactly what it looks like as well um, in the night time. So um, please do stick around. I will discuss a few different things. Um, and as always, guys, you know, um, this is a product review. And as per product reviews, it's a personal opinion. Uh, I'm not sponsored for this video. There are links down below so you can check out the, you know, the, the online reviews. Uh, I mean, the Hero Beam, it's been around for about five or six years now. Um, so at least you know, the reviews on there, you can kind of take as being a, a really good gauge. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they've got like a 10% off on Amazon right now. So um, as I say, guys, um, check it out. If it's for you, great. If it's not, no problem at all. Carry on using what you're using. Um, so thank you for watching and let's get straight to it. Okay, so let's just check out the key features. So um, it's quite lightweight. I wish you could uh, could feel it, but you can't. So uh, yeah, you can tell it's uh, it's only around 300-ish odd grams. So I think that's true to form. Um, if we open it up, we'll have a look at the LEDs that kind of go around the whole whole the actual uh, item itself. So um, there's a kind of full 360 kind of uh, degree lens as well. And if I zoom in, you'll see probably around kind of 10 individual LEDs. Um, then, it, as, as I say, go around the entire thing, so you can kind of build a picture as to as to how that light's emitted anyway. Um, I think what we'll have a look at next is kind of the size versus um, a can, actually. So uh, it's, a, it's a pop can, so you can see exactly how how big and small this looks. Obviously, when it's open, it's a lot um, it's a lot bigger. But um, as soon as you shrink this down, uh, you know you'll you will notice the size difference. Um, and I think one thing you'll notice when it goes down is how uh, the light is emitted all the way until just a crack before the top of the device. So it's going to be quite energy saving. You're not going to be wasting battery, which obviously is really important during a long session. Next, we'll take a look at the base, which is a magnetic base uh, that I've I've used quite a number of times for a bivy table. Um, but we'll have a look at as well at the, the kind of batteries that I mentioned. So I'd say you can use rechargeable batteries, um, but they do come with, I believe, a set of six batteries that you can use. Um, just standard AA, so not the expensive C or D type batteries. Um, so uh, quite handy. Um, and as I kind of touched on earlier on, you know, the the hook itself um, is. A, uh, it was a really useful thing if you want to try and um, hang it from the bivy. So uh, a really overall decent item. Okay, so let's have a look at the pros and cons. So um, a, quite a tricky one for me to try and look at this. I've made a few notes in terms of what I what I personally thought, and I've been looking back and um, at a couple of old videos, and I've been looking back at some of the uh, ways I've used it in the past. So uh, starting with the pros. Uh, so we've got it's a very kind of lightweight design. I think I said it was three hundred and thirty grams in in weight. Um, size wise as you've seen previously you know it's about the size of a, a can just a little bit above the size of a can so it'll fit nicely into any particular boxes um, you know it's got an adjustable height based on the amount of obviously light you want you can obviously increase or decrease the the height of it um, I mean I personally have used that in the past for if I was in in, in the bed and it's hanging up above me I've literally just pulled it down in the morning just just a little bit just to get a bit of light in the in the bivy um, you know it, again it's cheap the, the, the two for 20 quid which compared to some of the the, the lights on the market is an absolute steal um, and you know for me it's got a five-year warranty um, it does everything I want it to do I mean if I was to look at the con uh, and I do say con not cons because I, I've really struggled I've been trying to be as critical as I could but um, and you know a, my con really is it's battery operated. Now, obviously, the the alternative to a battery operated when you're when you're out and about really is a is a rechargeable um, device. Now, there is a rechargeable version of the Hero Beam actually, and I'll put a link down below to that one as well as this uh, set here. But um, overall, you know, batteries that they're lasting quite a long time. I've used it, and obviously, the, the obviously like I said earlier, the water resistant, and I've used them in 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 the 
gale force winds and lots of rain. I've come to it the next morning, it's still been glowing. Um, obviously a bit more dim, but you'd expect that from eight, nine hours worth of, uh, worth of use. But um, again, the, the options, it's up to you. If you prefer rechargeables and you want to use a power pack, um, again, I've got a power pack that I use and um, it's it's a great power pack. And you know, it may just work with you charging your other devices. It might just be something you're, you're happy to charge on the bank. But um, again, that's my pros and cons. Um, you may agree, you may disagree, and that's the great thing about reviews. So um, as I said, the links are down below. Check them out. If you want to buy one, go for it. Um, if not, then you know, have a shop around, look on Amazon or wherever for uh, other options. Okay then guys, so you find me um, in a little box room. Uh, my bin is actually probably about the size of this. Um, as you can see, it's become a bit more of a dumping ground for some of my equipment. Um, so yeah, as I say, we're going to run through um, a bit of a quick snapshot 30 seconds or so just to show you exactly what this looks like in the dark um, as you can tell this is far from dark so uh, let's turn the lights out now as you can see it's absolutely pitch black so um, I'll just basically open up the lantern now and you'll start to see how much this one light creates again doesn't really make a difference really whether it's up or down but um, as you can kind of tell, it's, it's really lighting up this room. So the reason I've kind of chosen this, as I said, <laughs> jokingly, it was that it's a small room. Um, it's very, very similar to um, a bivy, really. You know, again, I'd say my bivy would cover this room. So um, effectively, it's as close as I can get. Unfortunately, outside, there's a lot of moonlight tonight, so I couldn't really give you a fair test. So um, this particular lantern would be uh, perfect for, for what we need here. So hopefully that gives you an idea. Um, hardly scientific, but nice and simple it's all we need okay so hopefully you enjoyed watching the uh the footage there and gives you an idea of exactly how bright they can make things outside so that was obviously in the pitch black um so hopefully that helped um but as a take home kind of final message really um for me there's no doubt in my mind that i would purchase these again um, if i was sitting here looking for a bivy light I, I wouldn't even think twice um and hopefully that kind of you know come across in this because i'm a big fan of these um there's no reason for me to look elsewhere i suppose if the only other potential option is if these ever broke, I may look at the rechargeable ones, um, but that's purely out of interest of how long they would last versus the battery. Um, so everyone, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, so stick around for future videos. Again, we've got the head torches coming up next. That should be in probably a, around a, a week's time or so uh, for that particular video. And I'm really looking forward to that one. We can, we can really test out the Amazon basics and suggested uh, versus the uh, more expensive version. So thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.